over, and you are going to be live in two, one, and we are now live with Star Revenge 8. Galactic, you can take it away. Alright, <laughs> good day everybody. We are here to run a pretty awesome ROM hack that's called Star Revenge 8 Seth Group Hope, so I assume there's nothing I need to wait for before starting, so... I guess I should just... You can give me a countdown. Yeah, give a countdown. <laughs> Alright. So, we'll go from 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, so, this is Star Revenge 8, Setter of Hope. Uh, so, we're going to be playing this hack fast. The, the category we're doing is 80 star, which basically means... Uh, uh, beating the game the intended way, like getting what we're supposed to do in order to be able to beat the game as fast as possible. So this game, speedrunning wise, is pretty infamous for having a lot of difficult strats and like a lot of advanced strategies that you have to do in order to do things optimally. But um, yeah, if we're talking about the hack generally, I would say if you're listening to the music, you can see that this is Toho based, like all the levels are based on Toho locations and uh, yeah, I've never played Toho, but we don't need to talk about that. But I guess it's a nice thing if you have played those games to be able to be like, ah, I recognize this. So yeah, there's obviously a lot of references I don't get, but it doesn't hinder my enjoyment of this hack. So, right now, this level has a few, well, it's mostly movement optimizations. Um, so, right now, there's not a huge amount of stuff going on. But, like, there's some skips, like this one. Where we just use some wall kicks to skip most of the, <laughs> most of the intended way. So yeah, and one thing I should also should probably clear out about this hack is why is there an 8 in the name? So basically, the creator of this game has made a bunch of hacks and this is number 8, chronologically at least. There are so many hacks in this series, it's just super confusing, so let's not get into that. But Let's just say it's made by a German guy called Brodoot. I think that's enough said. <laughs> so yeah, there I also did some wall kicks to skip going around the whole level. You can actually save a lot of time in hacks in general and in this game by just having good movement. Like for example, doing dive rollouts over gaps like this is a good way to save small chunks of time. Another thing that I should mention is uh, another thing I should mention. Uh, what was I gonna say? No, I forgot. <laughs> well, I'll probably talk about it later since it was probably important. Well, now I'm gonna do the first 80 coin star. So if you've played Mario 64 before, you probably know that you need 100 coins and 800 coins to get stars. But here you only need 80 coins and 6 out of 8 coins to spawn a star, which saves a lot of time and makes a lot of these stars viable and fast enough for this category. <laughs> so yeah, that's a pretty cool thing. Like for example, this one is really fast because there are a lot of coins under the flowers here, which makes this really fast. So yeah, um, right now there's not a huge amount of stuff going on, now it's just mostly trying to optimize the movement. And yeah, for example we can do wall kicks like that to skip stuff like, there's a lot of stuff that, that can just like easily be, I don't know if you could even call it a skip, it's like 
it's probably intended that you can take some shortcuts. You can probably call it shortcuts in a lot of cases, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> I got a bit wrecked there. It's pretty interesting that Mario 64 has such a wide variety of movesets. Um, because, like, you could punch enemies to kill them, ground pound, jump on them, there's like... It's pretty cool how much you can do with this game. So yeah, that's the first level done. Okay, one thing I should get into meshing now that we've done... Every, well, most of the stuff that we want to do in the first level is uh, that this hack is an open world hack. Meaning that all levels are actually interconnected to one another. And meaning that there's basically a huge map of levels you can travel to. Like, I just went from course 1 to course 2. Just like that. And basically only a select few levels are accessible from the overworld with shortcuts. And it's mostly just a big world with the levels connected to each other. Which is a pretty cool concept in my opinion. So now here comes a bit of a skip that's a bit tricky. It skips part of boat ride by jumping over this collectible mini stars, I think they're called. And by that, I get that one earlier so I don't have to spin back for it later. Only problem is, it's a bit precise and if you fail, you just have to wait out the boat ride. Oh yeah, I guess I could go into the lore of this hack, um, reading um, what people in chat are saying. So basically what's supposed to happen is um, this bad guy, I don't want to pronounce his name, and I'm not going to try to do that, but basically this bad guy um, destroyed the world or something, and then... Um, oh, I'm getting interrupted now. Okay, this is not going well. well I'm sorry, I'm going to have to mute. So what I did there was a chakya clip, so basically I, <laughs> you get pushed back when releasing a chakya, so I clipped through the wall and went into the water there. I'm sorry for getting a bit interrupted there by the way. <laughs> and now we're just trying, gonna try to optimize moment as well as possible to get this start. So one thing that's important in the beginning of the run is getting 15 stars to access the first boss level. Because the way this game works is basically to access new areas of the game you need to like beat a boss to unlock a key or a cap switch. And then um, you need 15 stars to access the first one. So basically this star is actually slow but we need to get it now so we can get 15 stars. <laughs> Same with the both actually. So yeah, we're actually gonna revisit all of these levels later. Like, I left out one star in the first level, so we can backtrack and get the last star from an opening of the level that's closer to the star. Routing in this game is really complex, so try to not think about it too much and just try to follow along. Now we're gonna head to the third level. Which actually has a lot of... This is where the skips start getting intense with this level. And you're gonna see why with the first star I do. So I'm gonna do a bomb clip, which you have probably seen if you've played Mario 64 before. Or seen speedruns before. And we're gonna do... Just watch, <laughs> pretty much. Okay, so that's actually really precise. So basically, you need to get the bomb to be as big as possible. And um, then you need to throw it and do a bunch of jumps like that. Because you need to make it to that block and clip through it. Um, you need to do that before the bomb explodes and it's really precise. So basically, <laughs> it requires a lot of practice to get that clip down. 
but recently I've been getting good at it. So now we're gonna do some more wall kicks to skip having to press the switch and climb the whole level basically. So yeah, that star is really fast. This game has a lot of bomb clips, which we're gonna see later. Okay, now that we've gone through a few skips, um, we're gonna do even more skips. Because, yeah, this game combines a lot of, well, movement that you can optimize a lot and interesting strats. Which is why I really like running this game. Even though it can be really brutal sometimes, it's still pretty fun. So now we're gonna do some pretty interesting movements. Okay, I just messed up a bit. Basically by wall kicking on, on these platforms, I can climb, climb them much faster. So yeah, movement tech is really interesting in Mario 64 hacks. It's one of the most fun parts about running them in my opinion. And also, of course, <laughs> the skips. <laughs> this one is... this star is mostly movement. We're gonna be collecting these mini stars once again. And you have to be really careful here, because this one is located in a corner and it's really easy to crash! <laughs> I almost jinxed myself there, but luckily I survived. Alright, I've been talking way too much now because there's so much to explain. I'm sorry if it's getting a bit annoying. I'm gonna try to, like, I don't know, not start sentences too quickly after this since we're kind of starting to pass the beginning. There's just a lot that we have to go through. So now I'm just gonna collect these red coins and basically try to move across these platforms without falling off or doing a ledge grab since ledge grabs are slow. Okay, so now we have 14 stars, so we only need one more to access the first boss. And then we're gonna get that in the level right before it. Because the next level has a gimmick where there's lava and there are switches so you can change how high up the lava is. And basically the optimal way to do it is uh, on the default lava level, we get one star here, then do the boss level, and then we can start the messing around with the lava level. I just bought in a tree, that's not good. So, we can collect these red coins at this lava level, because it's... It's very convenient. <laughs> and makes us get 15 stars without having to do more slow ones. So if you long jump precisely enough there, you can avoid a ledge grab. I didn't manage to avoid a ledge grab there, but that was still that was still acceptable. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to the first boss level, the Great Massilian. The boss levels in this game are actually, well, they are run killers. A lot of them are really hard. And a lot of them have skips that are hard too. But this one, well, this one has one interesting skip. So hopefully I'll be able to pull it off. It's some more precise wall kicking. Ah, uh, I bonked. That's bad. Basically, if you touch the edge of that, you sometimes just bonk without being able to control it. And then I need to be able to get back up without, oh my god, yeah, it's a bit annoying. There we go, got it second try, that's good enough for me. 
good enough for a marathon run. Because <laughs> a lot of stuff in this game is just hard and nerve-wracking. So second tries. It's acceptable. <laughs> for sure. Oh yeah, there, there was an old skip in this level um, that we used to do that's slightly easier. Well, it's a lot easier, but it's also a few seconds slower. So of course you want to go for that strat. But it only saves a few seconds over the other one, so you don't have to. But it's nice to go for. Okay, so now here comes the actual boss fight. And they are made pretty interesting. <laughs> they are pretty interesting. If you've played the regular Mario 64, you know that the boss fights are super easy. So here there's a lot of enemies and stuff you have to get through to make the boss fights harder. Like, as you can see, there's a bit of an intro for this. Then we need to activate this box switch and then kill this guy and then run back before the box switch runs out which isn't too hard if you know what you're doing so yeah and by finishing this level we unlock the super batch which allows us to break these blocks and now we're done with this boss level So now we're gonna do the rest of the stars that are fast enough in this level, um, and um, this level is very technical, has a lot of skips. So this is one of the lava switches, and now from this we're gonna branch out into using this bomb to push us down here, and thus skipping an entire maze. Okay, so now we're gonna get a bit of a break. You can't actually collect 80 coins in this level, so instead that star is replaced by this. You get basically a free star for getting the super badge. So that's cool. <laughs> oh yeah, this version is actually new. It did not exist when I did my run last year. Um, it has a few changes and it's slightly faster, but overall it's not too different. So that's another bomb push skip to basically save a small bit of time. Now I'm going to pull off what's called a note block glitch, and I can explain it later, but because now I just want to focus so I can pull it off. Ah, okay, that's too bad. Well, as long as I get it this try, I'll be fine. There we go. Okay. So what I just did there was basically, those note blocks give you height, but not that much. So how did I get that much height? Well, what I did was... <laughs> If you press B on the correct frame, and um, when you land on a note block, if if you're on the correct frame and have enough speed, you get super height like that. So yeah, it's a frame perfect trick, but this game is in 30 frames per second, so it's not as bad as it sounds. It just takes some practice to get down. So here I do another bomb clip to basically skip an entire star. That requires the Ultra Badge. And when you see this level, you can probably understand what I mean with how many strats there are in this game. I don't get a break from explaining what, how to do everything. It's really, it's really sure something. But yeah, if anyone saw my run last year, we have discovered quite a few new strats to make this run even more awesome, so... 
my goal here is to make this run even better than the one I had last year and show off even more cool strats. But yeah, that's that level done. Now we're going to do some backtracking in order to save time with level entrances. So we're gonna collect 80 coins here in this level and then pair it up with some panels and that panels are like switches you activate from uh, from stepping on them and in this level they are hidden under these graves like this one So yeah, again, this is a bit of a nice break from all the strats as we're just, you know, trying to move through the level quickly now. So these panels are actually pretty finicky. Like, to, it's really easy to make them deactivate, so my strategy, strategy to make that not happen is push them far enough so I step on them and then jump away so I don't deactivate them. Just like I did a few times there. And the last panel's over here. So that's pretty much done, since the last coins are right in front of the star. Now the backtracking will continue. We will go back into course two. Okay, that's a very excellent question, person in chat. There are, there's unfortunately no scuttlebug migration in this run, but there's a lot of murdering scuttlebug, so that makes up for it. So here I'm gonna do some more panels in this level, except these are under the flowers. So. I go in first person cam to be able to see what I'm doing. And I just got grabbed by Chakya, but other than that, that was pretty good. Technically, yes, there are parallel universes, but we don't exploit them in this run. Unfortunately. So now that we've done some backtracking, we're going to head to course 5, which you can enter from this level. And this is like why routing is so interesting in this game, stuff like this. Oh, come on. <laughs> that scraps. So this level is pretty easy to mess up, so hopefully I don't mess up. <laughs> Okay, first we're gonna do these wall kicks to get up on this tree. And this star is pretty hard, because like, we have to jump across these small platforms at kind of awkward angles. But I managed to do that. <laughs> it was close though. Okay, now I'm going to go for a star that's mostly movement based, as you see here. Oh no, <laughs> that was a nice save. I almost died there. As you can see, the best way to go fast here is to be good with moving Mario quickly across stuff. Cause like, even if you get strats down, if you don't have good movement, you're still not going to be able to get a good time in this. You need to learn how to move the man. 
Yeah, Panin is a really cool guy who knows a lot about Mario 64. I recommend watching his videos. Even if he doesn't upload on his main channel, he still has his uncommentated channel, which has a lot of good videos. So now we're going to do more of these mini stars collecting. Uh, a big complaint that a lot of people have about this game is there's too many missions where you just collect things. And while I can understand that that's a complaint, personally it doesn't bother me. Alright, so we have one star remaining in this level now. And this one is pretty interesting. So what you're supposed to do here, intend the intended way, is uh, to look at a map and memorize the path um, for these stars. Because basically you can only stand on a few of these. Like some of them you just can't stand on, you fall down and die. So yeah, you need to memorize that in order to do it the fast way. Okay, so now we're gonna leave this level for now. We're going to return here later to collect a few more stars when it's more appropriate with the level entrances and such. But for now, we're going to head into the next boss level, which grants us the first key. And this one is actually one of the hardest boss levels, even though it's so early, because it's really easy to die. So this is just level before it, we're going to get some stars here later, for now we're gonna beat the boss. Okay, so here we are. So, this level is called... I don't know how to pronounce it. It kind of sounds like the Pokemon Ainte, but it's like spelled differently, so I'm just gonna call it Ainte. So here we have to hit a bunch of switches and collect red coins on the way, and also not fall down and die. Don't do what I just did there! <laughs> oh my god. I just like probably scared a lot of people and myself. Oh my god, I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, that's the first death. Um, understandable place to die. Um, let's not redo that mistake. <laughs> But yeah, this level is hard. I don't really understand why this is so early in the game. But whatever. <laughs> I guess it's better to have done sooner rather than later. So I don't really mind. Okay, let's try to do this movement nicely. There we go. That's how I wanted to do it. I kind of got shook by messing up there, so that's probably why I ended up falling down in such a stupid way. There we go. I should be back on track now. The problem is, <laughs> it's really hot here and I'm, I'm sweating a lot, so... For any future runners... <laughs> Make sure to have a glass of water next to you. I have water next to me in case I actually remember to do that, but I'm still sweating. I'm just gonna blame <laughs> that one of sweaty hands, because obviously it wasn't my fault. Okay, no, I'm kidding. It was my fault. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Now we're just gonna use the shelf to get up to the top a bit faster without dying. And yeah. <laughs> Water tastes good. So now we're gonna fight the main villain for the first time. We fight him twice before, well, the last fights. We fight him to get keys, and this is the first key. And he's pretty easy to kill if you know what you're doing, and he's dead. Oh yeah, really good song by the way. No, we actually don't fight Bowser in this game. Because I believe... Yeah, I think... <laughs> when I was trying to explain the lore, it's like something with that bad starry guy stole like the Scepter of Hope or something and... I think I don't remember if it was like that, but basically he destroyed Earth, and then yeah, we're collecting stars in this Toho world in order to bring back Earth. That's the lore of the game. <laughs> so this is a maze, um, where you have to select the correct pipe, and the way you're supposed to know this is basically there's a block in a place with level with a sign that tells you how to get through it except you need the ultra badge for it but if you just memorize it you don't need it okay so now we're going to do another wall kick skip Otherwise, we would have to climb a lot of this level. And now we can destroy all of these blocks. It's super satisfying to destroy all of those, by the way. Okay, so next up is one of my most hated stars. Because <laughs> I'm bad at it. And it's the last star we're gonna get it in this level. This level is generally slow, so we only get three stars in here. In the old route, we only got two. But with route differences, I'm gonna get more to that later. We're gonna see later why this we have to do this kind of slow star. Let's hope for the best now. So now we're gonna do a bit of skip, we're gonna use the spring, do a triple jump, not bonk, okay good, I actually got the strat. The reason I hate this star is because if you fail that strat, you fall down in the water and have to swim for like several years. In order to get back. Marv, um, you can replace that star if you want to. It depends if you're willing to. Okay, so now we're going to be heading back to this level real quick to get a star that's fast from this entrance. And yeah, that one's really fast. Okay, so I'm just gonna clarify, this run is not gonna world record, <laughs> unless I like pull out a miracle somehow, but that's not gonna happen. My best possible time is already higher than world record. So we're gonna keep the backtracking going, and we're gonna get the another start from this level. As you can tell, routing gets very confusing in this game. <laughs> Okay, regarding that, that's like nowhere near as bad. 
Um, I do the switch star in that level. I replace another star. You're gonna see later which one I replace. And it's way faster than 55 seconds, by the way. It's like 45, I think. Okay, I'm sorry for talking about thing. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do one last backtrack before doing a sailing quit. So we're gonna collect a last star from this level. Since we now have the super badge, we can now just easily get this one. No, I, I can get world record, just not this run. <laughs> I need to practice more. I, I need to be more consistent, probably. Like, not die in stupid places like I did this run. Okay, so now we're done with the first section of the run. We're going to save and quit so we get back to the overworld. And now we're going to head to the second area of the game, which we can access with this key. So, from the overworld here, we can access course 7. And from here, we're going to head all the way to course 9. Because basically, it might seem really slow to get all the way over there. But, since we're going to backtrack anyways, it doesn't matter if we get stars along the way or not. So I can just, you know, take the whole journey to course 9, all the way from the overworld. So this is course 8, and we're going to go from here straight to course 9. We're going to go back here later and get stars. But not yet. So to actually get there, we need to open this cannon, so let's get that out of the way. And we can't actually pair this up with another star, because it's too slow. At least for 80 star. Uh, I just got bleed. Well, it's fine. And now we can just use this cannon to shoot ourselves straight to course 9 and take some fault damage on the way. So in course 9 the third boss is located but I'm not gonna go there yet. First I'm going to collect a star here so I can refresh my health. And basically we can do... S we, we can skip a whole star by wall kicking up that like an arch. It's a lot easier than it seems, like, you can probably get it done fairly easily. You just need a decent angle. Well, no, the angle is straight, you just need a decent position and you should be able to do it. So now we're going to be heading to the third boss, which is one of the most frustrating ones. Which you're going to see why. There's a skip that's really frustrating, and then it's just really frustrating in general. And basically it's because, well, bullies. You know them from Beat the Lava Land in the original. They're super annoying. And we're going to fight a whole bunch of them. And if, but first we need to perform a skip to save some time. Which is really precise, and I just died. Basically, so I actually had pretty good, uh, well, I jumped close to the edge, but I still failed because I, I was too much to the side. Oh my god. Okay, yes, yeah, so what I did there is I held back too much. That skip is really precise, unfortunately. There we go, that should work. So the mistake I did the first time was holding back, no, that was the second time. The first time I was too much to the side, the second time I held back. One important thing to remember to do that skip well is to 
delay your dive. Don't dive too early. Because with triple jump dives, you get more distance if you dive later on in the dive. So that's a pretty important thing to keep in mind. Okay, I'm getting bullied here. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I swear to god, if I die. Just. <laughs> okay. He's the one with eyes. Yeah, you don't want to dive immediately, that's slow. No, that gives you less distance. And I'll... So what I was trying to do there is a skip. So basically, if you jump on that switch and then land and bonk in the type pipe, you skip the text box, but I just failed to triple jump. So... Yeah. I messed that one up. Oh. Never mind, we're not doing that switch in this run. I was gonna say that uh, hopefully I can get it for the other switch, but we're not gonna get any other switches in this run. And now this level is pretty dang slow, so we're just gonna get one more star and then we're gonna leave. Now this is actually one of the slowest stars of the route. But it's definitely fast enough, because it's not too bad to do really. Okay, so now we're going to finish this off with a triple jump to get up that place a bit faster. It's a bit of a cool optimization. And now we're going to go back to Course 8, listen to some romantic children music and uh, get some stars. Um, yes, about the textures in this hack, um, this was the first hack where Bro started using Blender to make his textures. I believe, because like, this, these look a lot more polished than his previous hack at the time, which was Redone 2.0, I believe. It's not? I. Well, I know it's something he start, bro, it started doing in the SR8, like he started uh, fixing... Maybe it was collisions, so that there are a lot less invisible walls here. It, it's something like that. Okay, well, let's not... <laughs> let's not hang up on that topic. Um, this star is pretty interesting with movement, it's a bit scary because the path is a bit small but if you know what you're doing you should be fine okay i just messed up the moment a bit the best way to do it is chain long jump from there but i forgot about that so i'll just do this alternate way because it's not terribly slow Since we have now unlocked the wind cap from uh, the third boss, we can use it to collect stars now, like this one. So basically here, you can only... a lot of the coins are actually fakes, they're actually regular coins and not red ones. So you have to go on a specific path, so you actually get six real red coins. 
Oh my god, everyone saying Dar reminds me of something, and I'm sorry for getting off topic, but you know that SpongeBob episode where he procrastinates on an essay, and it's just like, all right, let's see what we finished so far. The break time. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Okay, I'm sorry for getting off topic. Uh, So last star we're gonna get here is an invisible box, which is basically hinted at by weirdly colored trees. So basically that box is located between three trees that has a slightly different color, which is kind of dumb, but whatever. It gives an easy star, <laughs> so I'm not complaining. Now, since that path kind of leads to a dead end, I'm going to save and quit again, and then enter this level again, so we can go to a different path. And now I'm once again gonna use the mentality of, um, well, going to the end of the path immediately and then backtracking. Since that doesn't lose time. Oh yeah, the wing cap has Titanic music. Or well, it's not called Titanic, it's called My Heart Will Go On, but you get the point. All the caps have like memes as the... Uh, as your themes, but we actually only use the wing cap in this run. But the... But the Vanish cap has... Um, the Vanish cap has Nine Cat, and the Metal cap has John Cena. And... John Cena, you wonder? Yeah, this hack is from 2016, so... John Cena means. So now we're almost at the next boss level. This is the fourth one, if you've been keeping count. And this one holds the second key, and it means another fight with that weird star guy, whose name I can't pronounce. And this song is a banner. And we're going to exploit this level a lot and basically skip half of it. Oh my god. <laughs> I was just trying to set up the camera. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now, this level is actually pretty interesting that it has a midway boss. So we have to beat this bomb guy in order to actually get to the star guy, and I just messed up. The gimmick here is that he's Sanic. Fast man, basically. But he's not too difficult if you know what you're doing. That's like the premise of most SR8 bosses. Or well, SR8 is Star Bench 8 for sword. short. If you haven't figured that out, <laughs> he takes two hits to kill, and he's not too bad if you know what you're doing. And now, on the second half, we get treated for another banger, <laughs> so enjoy. And that's it for the red coins. And basically, <gasps> invisible wall. I've never seen that before. Well, I guess marathon luck. Well, that's really bad, but uh, I have a bit of a backup strat. So let's see if I can pull it off. Well, I don't know actually if it's, no, I think I have a backup strat. Because basically this would mean that I have to beat the bomb again to get up to the second half. And... 
but I think I have a way to get by without fighting him. So I'm gonna do it and see if it works. Okay, so what I would have to do is... Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm trying to pull off a note block glitch to get enough height to... Okay, I'm just gonna fight him since I only have two health. Well, it was a good effort, and I just died again. Well, that's a bit of a problem. I've lost about three minutes now. <laughs> well, we should still be able to make estimate. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go for the glitch, no block glitch like one more time, and if I don't get it, I'll just do the normal way. Strat. Oh right, I forgot to get the red coin by the pipe, so that failed on all levels. See, this is what happens when something that never happened before happens. So, um, don't try new strats in the middle of a marathon run, kids. Um, I'm just gonna fight the guy. And this was all because of an invisible wall. This is why you don't run the ROM hacks, kids. Invisible walls. Everywhere. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna kill this guy again. Okay, it's really about to get grabbed by him, because you barely can run away. There we go. Oh my god, grab his ass. <laughs> I'm getting kind of frustrated now. Okay, there we go. I should be able to make estimate, but it's gonna be a bit tight because of this. Unfortunately. Okay. I feel like this is really bad that I did this because this is gonna like discourage people from wanting to run in Roma Hacks because of invisible walls. <laughs> but, um, just <laughs> I've never hit that invisible wall before, so don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so this is actually the boss. Wait, how the hell did my cat get into my room when my door was closed? What the heck? I'm pretty sure my cat wasn't in my room. Okay, I need to go and lift out my cat of my room. <laughs> this is getting even worse than my dog. Um, I just messed up. Well, it's fine. There you can just kind of learn into the middle and do that. Okay. I'm gonna go have to go and let out my cat. <laughs> okay, but first we do an intentional let to get out of this place. Okay.
I'm sorry for distraction. I I got another interruption from family, so I had to go and then I had my door open. Well, I had a door open to outside, and then they went outside and started talking, so I had to close that door. <laughs> oh my god, this is like a train wreck. Okay, but it's fine now. We're back on track. We'll pretend that never happened. Okay, so now we're going to do a star with a really interesting moment. So just watch along while I do a bunch of crazy stuff. <laughs> What never happened? I don't know. What are you talking about? I didn't get invisible wall in Hyokai Mountain. Okay, all jokes aside. <laughs> uh, now we're going to go for the star. I'm having a really hard time commenting without like bursting out into laughter right now, so I'm sorry. Now for this star, we're actually supposed to use the metal cap, and that's in that yellow box, but we don't have to use it. Nice bounce. A lava and get star. Yeah, I'm having fun now. I'm I'm over it. It was it was a bit of a train wreck, but we're, we're gonna recover. So now, remember the note block glitch strat that I did earlier in the run when we have to. Press B, frame perfectly to get a bunch of height. Well, we're gonna do that again, except this one is not as risky. It is over lava, but there's solid ground next to it, and I'm messing it up. No, dude. I usually never mess this up. Okay, we're gonna do it now. Okay. This is a shame. I usually never mess this up. Okay, there we go, finally. Well, still having a bit of mishap, but it's mostly fine. We might go a slight bit over the estimate, but I don't... <laughs> I, I might be able to go under. <laughs> I think I can. Okay, so now we're going back into course 10. So basically from up there, we can jump down there to uh, to get further on this star really fast. So it's pretty useful to start from that entrance. And there we go! That star is really fast and fun to do. If you go under you can show cat on stream, yeah I'll do that. Cause like, if I can't finish in time, I'll just go and get my cat and have my cat say hi. You know, who cares about finishing anyway? <laughs> no, I, I'll try my best to finish. We'll just say that. And <laughs> okay, so the reason I died there is because I messed up my movement and I didn't take my movement through. So let's try that again. What I was gonna do is do this and then roll out on this platform. There we go. No, I let cut. I left my cat out of my room. And this star is kind of hard because there's a really thin path. 
if we go on, like that. But again, if you know what you're doing with your movement, it's not horrible. Okay, so now we're going to do the slide, which is basically, well, just a cool slide star where you get to have a bit of a shift time. Not really any skips here. Just a slide. This is really fun, by the way. <laughs> like, it goes super fast, and it's, it's the greatest thing. Okay, now we're going to do 80 coins, red coins, since it's pretty fast in this level as well. And this one is also pretty movement dependent, so basically, don't mess up your movement or you might be dead. Because <laughs> I'm gonna pull off the same movement that I died to earlier in this star. So let's not die there. Well, I might just play it safe. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid Star Ranch 8 is not that beginner friendly. Well, it could be if you if you don't go for the strats, but these strats, a lot of them are difficult to pull off. It depends on what strats you go for, I would say. Like, if you go for easier strats, yeah, it could be beginner friendly. Okay, that should be enough coins to be sufficient. Sufficient? Well, on, no, they're not required, they're just very useful. Well, there's technically like. There's one bomb clip I can think of that's required to do the route I'm doing. Well, actually two. Okay, that's that level done. My best possible time is a 128, and my sum of best isn't that good, so we should be able to actually make estimates. No, if you do a casual run, this game is fairly beginner friendly. It has some difficult stuff, parts. So now we're actually gonna get a star in this level, but we're only gonna get one because it gets really awkward with the route thingy if we get any more stars. Which is unfortunate because the stars in this level are easy, but they're too slow for this route. And I, I almost killed myself with a first spring wall kick. Because those conserve your speed from your previous jump. So basically, sometimes you just, just they screw you over. Yeah, the bosses in this game are pretty tough, but other than that. Okay, so we're going to be doing a last bit of backtracking here. So we're going to collect red coins and 80 coins in this level. Oh, come on, that's like the classic fail. You need to get that red coin, but there's a heave-ho. The worst Mario 64 enemy on the platform, and sometimes he just wrecks you. Bit of a problem.
Alright, so after this point we want to have 60 coins to have enough to finish this coin rot, which we do have, so that's great. Yeah, I forgot there's a <laughs> Lenny face and I completely forgot about that. There's the guy who made this tag likes memes, as you might understand. Okay, so now we're done with this level. Now we're going to do another save and quit and go to the next level. Well, go to the next area of the game, I should say, with more levels. We're going to use the second key we got from the level that definitely went well. And from here we can go to course 12. So this run hasn't been going very well, but I think we can bomb Toe to force to force us to get world record this run, even though it's not possible. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. But yeah, it's a it's a really interesting exploit. Like for some reason, if you throw a bomb at a Toad, he will talk to you. It's really weird. And we're gonna start off with doing 80 coins and red coins here as well, since they are actually surprisingly fast. And then there's also one more star we're gonna get after that. Oh no, we're actually going this way, <laughs> don't get confused. <laughs> The law bounces I did earlier is a small skip so you don't have to climb up the side of um I've never done that before in a run. <laughs> so I just died in a really dumb way. Basically I I'm tr was trying to launch on past the womp and I bonked on his body that is not rectangular, it's not even called, it's cubic apparently because it has weird edges that murders you, and I've never done that before. <laughs> this is like the classic marathon run right now, maybe I should consider that in the estimate, because like, it's so weird because <laughs> every practice run I did, I was like doing super fine with the estimate, but I, I guess it's because I'm commentating and making more mistakes. Yeah, that's probably why. I didn't practice commentary, even if I practiced gameplay. So I'm taking too much <laughs> energy on the commentary and focusing less on the game because of that. That's probably what's happening. So that's a tip for myself, if I want to play well in a marathon, I need to prepare my commentary so that I don't take up focus. Okay, that's that star done. Now we just need to get one more. I'm already losing time. Well, I, I'll just pull off a nice ending to this run. So, don't worry about it. Now I'm going to collect um, this star. Which, for example, the world record holder doesn't do this star in his route. Instead, he does 
a bully fight in course 11, but that one's like, according to my timings, it's really slow. So, and it's also hard to do fast, so I prefer to do this one rather than that. Like, according to my timings, this one is faster, so... Yeah, there's a bully fight in course 11, basically. That's kind of... long. <laughs> but... This one is not too bad, so I, I prefer to go with this. Okay, so now we're actually getting close to the end of this run. The final objective to be able to beat the game is to get 75 stars and get the ultra badge. And the reason the category is 80 star is because after you get 75 stars, you fight the final boss 5 times and get a star for each fight, which totals up to 80. But yeah, now we're in the second last main course, course 13, and we're gonna get all stars here in one go. I'm trying to use these slopes a bit to gain a bit more of momentum to move faster here, but it's a bit tricky to pull off. And now this is like a quiz tower with meme questions, well, I think it's like questions about Toho, Brodoot stuff, and Mario, and a main question. But yeah, now we're at the moon. The last two main courses are on the moon. Yeah, shoutouts to the Toho 15 renditions on this hack. The, the songs are pretty damn good. Like this one is sounds pretty nice in my opinion. Like some of the tracks in this hack definitely don't sound that good. Like the one in course 11 sounds too high pitched and stuff. But this one is pretty nice. Course 14 is nice. Which is well and yeah, a lot more nice basically. <laughs> Oh yeah, Clown Piece is actually a boss in this game, but we skip him because, well, wait, it's Toho, it's a her. <laughs> and, okay, and we skip that fight because, well, there's a clip we can do to just skip having to do it. So you have to do it in the 100% category, but not in this. No clown fiesta. So now we're going to bomb cut through this fence in order to get down to this star. It's not the bomb clip I was talking about earlier. It's another one that you'll see later when we want to go to course 14. Because basically you're supposed to use the vanish cap to get to course 14, which you get from defeating clown piece. But you can just use a bomb clip, so you don't have to get the vanish cap. Okay, so now we're going to get... It's like a troll star party star, if you could call it that. So basically there's a room full of stars and all of them are fake except one, and you need to see which one sticks out from the others and collect that one. And basically this one is tilted more than the other ones, and it's the real one. And from here, we can start doing 80 coins red coins, because we save our coins and we get to start from there. Yeah, a clown piece is a wiggler in this game, but it, it's clown piece, you know? 
so there's not really much special about this star. I used a bit of slopes to gain momentum, which is something new this level. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. The reason I kick into that red coin is because you can slide down, but it's really risky. And you have to climb all the way back up if you fall down, which is pretty annoying. It wastes a lot of time. So yeah, I can climb slopes with triple jumps, since they don't care about slopes. That's kind of what we have used in order to get around. Yeah, you don't have to follow the speedrun route. Obviously. And I just fell. I'm dumb. Um, okay, so the best way to recover from here... I'm not sure if you can get up here. Okay, you can. But it's gonna be tough. There we go. Okay, so the music actually stops when you spawn a star, because basically the music from get, having collected a star does that. And now we're down, of course, 13. So unfortunately, we are going to go overestimate, but I'm gonna try to make it as little as possible. Okay, so now I'm about to do the most intense split of the run. So I'm gonna need to focus here. So step one, bomb clip in course 14. Just skip having to get the vanish cap. Step one done. Step two, use a bomb in a really cool way to get to moon trials. You don't have to do this, it only saves like a second, but it's really cool, so I'm gonna do this since this is a marathon. And I just messed up. Uh, I'm gonna respawn the bomb because I really want to do this since it's a marathon. I want to show the strat off. Okay, I just kind of messed up, but it should be good enough. I messed up my angle, but it should be, sh it should, should be sufficient. The only problem is doing this, climbing the slope. The bomb's a bit harder from here. And I'm losing time from the other way, unfortunately. But I'm gonna pay that price to do a cool marathon strat in a marathon run. Okay, so basically what I did there was like... Something really interesting. I can explain it later. Okay, now I'm gonna show a new strat, and I just messed up. <laughs> Basically, you can BLJ to save a few seconds here, which you don't have to do. But I want to show it off. Oh, the only problem is you either get this first try or millionth try, and I'm seeing to be getting it millionth try. I'm, I'm getting millionth try and basically you need to do it from a specific spot because otherwise you get millionth try. Okay, I'm giving up on this BLJ. There's another BLJ since that one doesn't seem to want to work. I'll just do the other one. <laughs> well, that's a bit of a shame, but I'll just do the other BLJ. I discovered BLJ strats yesterday so in this level, so that's why I'm bad at it. But it's cool, I'll, I'll show it off later, <laughs> if I have time. I discovered it yesterday, CB. <laughs> That's why. So this level is really hard because there's a lot of enemies and hard jumps. So basically, the strat I did with the bomb is I did a dive... I did a dive thing, well, I, I made him big, and I did a dive thing to... Um, to make it so he doesn't explode, and it puts you in a really weird state, and that's the other BLJ. It saves like three or four seconds, I want to say. It's a pretty cool strat. 
It's a lot easier than the other one. The other one is really dumb. So luckily I could get that one at least to show off a BLJ strat. Because that's so far the only BLJ you can use in SR8. And now I'm going to use a hyper speed triple jump to get over to the other side quickly. Oh no! That's so unlucky, dude. I mean, technically it's my fault, but that's so unlucky. This is why this is like a fun killer, really hard level. And the, <laughs> the bad thing is this level makes you really tilted. Like if you die once, you have to do this really hard stuff again, and it's like, it's kind of frustrating. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this now, unfortunately. Because we're already so far behind the schedule. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one again. Okay, you know, you already saw it. I'm not gonna go for another death. <laughs> Whatever. You get the point of this rat. <laughs> I already showed it off. As you can see, it really only saves a few seconds. So it's not extremely useful, it's just mostly just cool. Okay, let's try this part again. Let's not get hit by the plant. Okay. There we go. Now, if I manage to die somehow now, I must be stupid. Okay, good. <laughs> we did it. As you can see, that's like the hardest star of the run. <laughs> okay. Now we get the ultra badge, meaning the only thing we need to do now to beat the game is to get 75 stars. <laughs> so we need to get four more. Now my best possible time is two and a half minutes over the estimate, so I guess if you want to cut off my run, I don't really mind because we're already so far behind schedule. But you guys can do what you want. Because <laughs> it's gonna take like at least nine more minutes to finish this. Okay, so now we're going to do another bomb clip to get through this place. And oh my god, that's such a bad mistake. You know, I wasn't actually expecting it to go this bad because I got a 128 last year and then we had less strats and all that stuff. So I put my estimate lower this time so I wouldn't like be super far away, far below estimate and then I end up getting this round, that's a bit ironic. So for this start we're gonna climb this tower. in a hopefully fast manner. There we go. Here we go. 
Okay, so two more stars before it can go back and then go to the last level. I like it. <laughs> I'm sweating so much right now. It's a, it's a hassle. But I'll keep going for these last couple stars. So here is a really cool skip. Hopefully I can actually pull it off. It saves us a lot of time and looks cool. There we go. Okay, this last star also has a small skip in it, so let's go for that one. There we go, that was really clean, actually. Alright, so now we have 75 stars. So that means we're going to save and quit, and go back to the beginning. And now head to the end, actually. We can now open this this 75 star door and with the ultra batch, so in order to get to the final boss we need to get through this level thing. But after that we get to fight the star guy five times in a row and then after that and we need to choose how we want to recreate Earth and who should do it. But I'll explain more of that later as we get there. Let's get through this level first because if I die here I need to restart the entire thing and I really don't want to lose even more time. Since, you know, I'm already going over estimates. But it, it's like two and a half minutes if I do well. So hopefully that's okay. Okay, there we go. Now we're going through some fights. This is the first one. So the strat here is to dive into him, then do a ground pound here, jump onto his platform, another ground pound. And then after beating the guy, you just need to go and grab a star. Basically there's a different arena, five times, all times. And this is actually pretty fun, not gonna lie. It's nice that a ROM hack run actually has a fun ending to it. Because a lot of them just have just ton of Bowser fights that are really annoying. But here's there's a lot of interesting strats you can do to kill. Uh, okay, I'll pronounce it Screeo Sad as fast as possible. Yeah, I beat the guy, because I, I want to be the guy, you know? Okay, so for the third fight, I don't really like this one. Because, tough oh, quicksand, but the strat's pretty simple. Just get to this star platform, learn over here, and then go ham. Yeah, rip estimate. Ah, I'm getting electrocuted. But we're on the third fight, so I shouldn't go over estimate that much. Here we go. 
Two more fights, then we just have to pick an ending. Don't worry, I've got this under control. <laughs> okay, fight four. So now we have a lot of fire and bottomless pits. So the strategy here is stand in the middle on this part and then go ham. Then make it a crop without getting burned. Here we go, fight four done, only one left. Which is pretty hit or miss, because like the last one just spams a bunch of enemies. Okay, last fight. If I get the strat here, this should be look cool. Oh my god, I got <laughs> electrocuted. That makes it look so uncool. Okay, he's dead, so... Okay. We are alive. There we go, last fight done. So time doesn't end quite yet, we have to go and pick an ending. So basically, we have to decide if the time rock guy should recreate earth or if Brodo should recreate earth. Spoiler alert, don't let Brodo do it. He's the bad guy. But there's also a joke ending, so let's do that one. Uh, so timing doesn't end quite yet, we first have to grab a fake star. So we let Mario recreate the world and he creates a giant spaghetti bowl and timing ends on fade out here. Fine. Alright, so that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And yeah. That's basically it. The yeah. run didn't go super well, but I still got to showcase most things I wanted to do, so I'm pretty satisfied. And that's alright. Thanks for the great run, my dude. Thank you for letting me run here. Yeah, shame that a couple of things didn't go super well, but, you know, can't have everything go super well. Yeah, happens sometimes. Alright, anything else you want to say before I cut us off? Uh, well, I guess I could just say, um, if you want to get into running this hack, I, I'm i glad to help, and there's probably a lot of strats you don't want to go for, but yeah, this can be beginner friendly if... Um, you go for a bit of easier strat, but yeah, that's basically what I want to say. This game is right. really fun. Alright, well thank you very much for